Good afternoon. Um, Budgie Coopson's Gel Printing Challenge. Day 16, Punchinella. I've got it, but I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> oh. oh, I don't know. I mean, I've got loads of it. I picked it up at the uh, West Point show. I think it was last year, and I thought it's going to come in handy. And, you know, now obviously I need it, so... I mean, the classic way to use it is just to make it form dots for you. Is that a bit boring? Mm, I don't know. Let's chop a bit off anyway. This lamp is going to fall on me again. I've got a funny feeling. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, that is the classic way to use it. And then just... I've got to think of something different to that because that's just so boring i know what i know hold on I just have to... let me grab my little ones what if we stamp different colored ovals that could work right let's give it a go anyway i hope everyone's a bit right it's um been a busy day here <sighs> And do them different colours. What do you reckon? I need to get rid of that kink out of there because that will drive me batty. Right, 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 right. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to cut that one off as well. It's it's got bent, and that is just going to be a proper pain. Right. Okay. Now we're ready. Right. Put you there. You can stay there. I have paper. Brayer. So I'm going to um, change the way I do these because I think I'm driving everybody nuts with the drying time. So I'm going to print the background first and then I'm going to print the other stuff on top. There shouldn't be much drying time for the ovals when we stamp those. So And they were, sorry, I didn't even tell you. They are the gel press petites, not jelly arts, gel press. They're a lot cheaper. I've heard a lot of things that people say, you know, that they are uh, inferior to the gel press uh, uh, jelly arts. But, you know, I'm using them. <laughs> They're all right for me. I think if you're a professional, maybe the jelly arts are better. I don't know. I do not know. Right, let's concentrate. So if I do a light background and let's pick it up with and then we'll do darker colors with that through the punchinella right plan oh i picked up some new paints today i don't know if they're any good but system three acrylics look at those colors that is fluorescent i'm hoping this is more pigmented because they were quite they were more expensive than the um, pbo ones and they're a smaller thing i'm hoping they will be i couldn't resist um Right, what did I say? Light background. So, I'll oh, just go really, really easy peasy. Let's do white and yellow. Give it a mix. And we'll print it. Right. I've conditioned all my plates with baby oil. I spent a... Uh, a good amount of time probably not that long actually but um yeah so i gave them all a done good clean and then i conditioned them all like i say with baby oil who knows Let's see if it makes any difference whatsoever there's an awful lot of paint on there so i'm just gonna pad it gently so it doesn't skid everywhere i might do two actually so there's a load of paint left on that roller brayer use the right words Okay, nice. Let me just um, amuse myself here. Because I don't want to waste my goldens. That was... Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. 
<laughs> I'm not going to say that. I have no idea what that says. Yellow and white. Quite simple. You don't have to have the goldens. They're just really nicely pigmented paints. So, okay, right. So we've got two backgrounds. If we mess up the first one, we've got to stand by. Happy days. Right. So what I'm thinking, yeah, I think this will work. So if I put that on first, it's got a straight edge one side, so let's try and get it straightish. And then we'll just ink up this little puppy and we'll go from there. go red. We really don't need much. Tell you what, let's mix it up. Red and oh, quinacridone. Uh, it's probably far too much paint. But... My head might get in the way. I apologise if it does. So let's put you down there. No slipping. Just stamp. Oh, I tell you what, we're going to get a twofer. Don't know if you can see it through there. It's actually taking on the uh, imprint. Look at that. Oh. Oh, hang on, let me get a bit of paper. I love things like that. They look so nice as background prints for all sorts of things. Cool. Right. Let's get rid of the red. I don't mind if it dries, that's fine. We can always use something to lift it up with right let's work a bit quicker susan and then hopefully it won't have dried let's just do a plain blue just put my finger in that great nice one get another one ready what should we do burnt sienna you'll do get rid of the blue lift you up no lift up no lift okay Sorry, dropping that on glass, beg your pardon. A tiny drop of that one on. Just to take the plainness off the brown. It's not quite evenly spaced, but that's fine. Without getting my head over it, I can't really see. see what we got if we any luck it will have stayed wet but I don't think it has bottom one will print but I don't think the top one will although that's quite damp mm -hmm. oh, let's stamp you on there could use that actually yeah why not <laughs> it's quite nice actually I don't know if you've seen it are you there we are Yeah, I might do that actually. Cheeky, but yeah, you always get the um, you know the mirror image, I guess. Quite nice. Love that one. It's picked up the blue, uh, the bread in the blue. Yeah, I thought I'd try too quick. This is why I like to do it the other way round, but it doesn't matter. There we are. Oh, that's quite pretty. Cool. And then, of course, you can just use it straight, punch another. So, um, 
let's do a bit of that, a bit of that, a bit of that, and a bit, a bit of that. Let's see what we get. lift it up that way we're gonna get another one out of that as well aren't we okay the trouble with gel printing sometimes you just keep going and going and going okay it's transferred really well Oh well, Whoa. <laughs> spotty. Are you gonna fit? Probably not. Hmm. Okay. Different. Okay, um, just trying to think if there's anything else that I could do with it. So we've used it as a um, a mask, you know, stencil, stencil mask. Is that the right way around? I can never remember. That would be a stencil. So that's the stencil, and then yeah, it would have left a masked print behind because that would have masked what was behind, which is that, which is the honeycomb ish type effect so i can't think of anything else that i would do with it i'll be honest with you so um i'm gonna call that a video what do you reckon I'm trying to make them as quick as possible all right let's lay these out so there we are punchinella you can get it in all sorts of shapes uh, and sizes you know you can get big seat because it's the waste from sequin making basically so whatever size sequins you get you can um you can get punch another basically so yeah three for that one quite like those and use the little mini oval to do the stamping through and that's the runoff that's it <laughs> i'll see you on the next one bye